Once logged into SAS Owned AMAND for Academics website click on SAS Studio. In SAS Studio, select the folder click on Upload and select the file to be uploaded into SAS folder. Double click the uploaded file and click on Run. Open a SAS program file for imputing code. When a time series has a unit root, the series is non-stationary and the ordinary least squares, oles, estimator is not normally distributed. Dickey, 1976, and Dickey and Fuller, 1979, studied the limiting distribution of the oles estimator of autoregressive models for time series with a simple unit root. In Dickey-Fuller tests, the second column specifies three types of models, which are zero mean, single mean, or trend. The third column, row, and the fifth column, tau, are the test statistics for unit root testing. Other columns are their values. All five series are stationary. In the co-integration rank test, the last two columns explain the drift in the model or process. The column drift in ECM means there is no separate drift in the error correction model, and the column drift in process means the process has a constant drift before differencing. 
H0 is the null hypothesis, and H1 is the alternative hypothesis. The first row tests R equals 0 against R0, the second row tests R equals 1 against R1. By default, the critical values at 5% significance level are used for testing. You can compare the test statistics and critical values in each row. There is one co-integrated process in this example since the trace statistic for testing R equals 0 against R0 is greater than the critical value, but the trace statistic for testing R equals 1 against R1 is not greater than the critical value. VECM offers a possibility to apply vector autoregressive model, VAR, to integrated multivariate time series. The process of estimating the VECM consists roughly of the three following steps, the confusing one of which is for me the first one. Specification and estimation of a VAR model for the integrated multivariate time series. Calculate likelihood ratio tests to determine the number of co-integration relations. After determining the number of co-integrations, estimate the VECM. In the first step one estimates of our model with appropriate number of lags, using the usual goodness of fit criteria, and then checks if the residuals correspond to the model assumptions, namely the absence of serial correlation and heteroscedasticity and that the residuals are normally distributed. In theory VECM is just a representation of co-integrated VAR. This representation is courtesy of Granger's representation theorem. So if you have co-integrated VAR it has VECM representation and vice versa. A vector error correction model, VECM, can lead to a better understanding of the nature of any non-stationarity among the different component series and can also improve longer term forecasting over an unconstrained model.